Ukrainian soldiers use the Caesar self-propelled howitzer towards Russian positions in the east. Ukraine. December 28, 2022. In a recent interview with The Economist, General Zaluzhny, commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, discussed the challenges facing Ukrainian forces, which ultimately led to a stalemate with Russia. He emphasized that most of these problems are related to artillery, emphasizing that the Russian army currently enjoys a tactical advantage in this area. The Russians achieved this advantage by using new technologies that allowed them to precisely hit Ukrainian targets and at the same time limit the effectiveness of Ukrainian artillery. He emphasized that Ukraine must develop and use its own advanced technologies to regain superiority. In the war, historically called the King War by Napoleon, artillery remains a key component of both Russian and Ukrainian military units. A legacy Soviet doctrine. As a matter of fact, this doctrine gives the artillery the task of destroying enemy forces. Meanwhile, infantry and armor units protect artillery units and shape the battlefield to allow artillery to attack targets more easily. Counter-battery units attach to identify source of an incoming projectile and detect which artillery can then target, thus destroying enemies' assets. Moreover, modern artillery now includes precision projectiles that correct their flight paths to hit a target, and stray munitions often referred to as kamikaze drones. Russian Stray Munition Autonomous Swarm Thruster Propeller Lancet Unmanned Aerial Vehicle the conflict between Ukraine and Russia has seen the introduction of a multitude of new technologies, many which have directly impacted artillery operations. General Zaluzhny identified many Russian advances as sources of trouble for Ukrainian forces. The Russians in particular had success with their Lancet stray munitions. These highly sensitive and compact drones are difficult to detect and operate on an unpredictable flight path, hindering Ukraine's counter-battery efforts. Additionally, Russian Pol-21 electronic warfare system jams the GPS signals necessary for S-caliber rounds fired by Ukrainians. This causes the bullets to deviate from the intended route and fail to reach their target. Ukraine has already begun adjusting its artillery tactics to include technologies comparable to those used by Russian forces. Additionally, Ukraine received in foreign aid packages a number of electronic warfare systems that could disrupt Russian drones and precision strikes, possibly including GPS spoofing and jamming. However, there is an ongoing technological evolution on both sides. The Russians are likely developing countermeasures against electronic warfare systems and stray Munitions currently used by Ukraine. Top shot this still. Taken from footage shot by AFP. Shows Ukrainian soldiers opening fire with AD-30. Howitzer on Russian positions near Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine. On March 21, 